Uh, I've been a Christian since I was a little kid. I told my mom at one point in the car as, as a five-year-old, maybe a six-year-old, yeah, I believe in Christ. Mom, I want to I wanna believe in Christ. I want to have what you have. Prayed a little prayer, but I remember that moment, and I remember while doing it, not not knowing what I was doing, but cynically thinking this will just... I did it for the wrong reasons. Um, so then I was a Christian, and I tried to do the right thing, would, would mess up big, and usually when I mess up it's girls, involves girls. So I'd mess up big, and then I'd retreat back to God. And I had some good moments. I had some moments where I was very happy with my, with my walk because I thought I was doing most things right. You know, I didn't cuss, I didn't uh, do drugs, I didn't... I did, I did the Christian thing, went to church. And then, senior year of high school, I met this girl who was in love with Jesus. And I could see it, and it, it was everything about her personality, and it, everything she did was because she was in love with Jesus. And I wanted that. But at the same time, I was proud, and I thought I was better because I had grown up in the church, and because I had all this biblical knowledge that she didn't have, and because I could answer more questions than she had. But I wanted that love. That seemed so real to me. So end of my senior year, I and a friend decided to pull a prank. Um, I wrote inappropriate things on some of my friend's cars. A teacher that I had wrote West Point, the college that I decided I want to go to, a letter saying, uh, saying some of the things that I wrote, exaggerating some facts, and pointing out that uh, what I wrote could be could show that I uh, had a bad character. And in fact, she said that everything that I ever did good was a cover-up for my bad character. And that, that hit me hard. Because the same friend who loved Jesus asked me the question, how did you get to the point where you thought that the things that you wrote were funny or acceptable? And I realized that maybe this whole trying to be perfect thing trying to be a Christian, living a perfect life, wasn't what Christianity was about. So, I lost my appointment to West Point and had to do a year of prep school at an all-boys military high school. And that was a sobering experience because a lot of the people that went to this high school were there for, I guess, the same reason I was there, because they made a mistake. And so, my friend, instead of being these other people that were not running towards God, became God. And, and I was forced to just rely on God and to just have God as a friend. And that's when I first started to really fall in love with Jesus. I read through the New Testament, start to finish, and, and things started to become real, but it was still... It's, it's a growing process. It's not, I haven't arrived there, I haven't figured it all out. And I've still, and I've made a lot of mistakes since then. But it was that year of total uncomfort for me, and total lack of friends, and helplessness, that I realized my need for Jesus. And that I fell in love with the Jesus that could provide no matter what my situation was. And so since then, I've been falling more and more in love and trying to follow Jesus more and more and figuring things out. That's my story.